and believe once more in America. Like every nation, the United States has a right to control who enters our country. With this order, President Trump is exercising his rightful authority to keep our people safe. Nobody knew that health care could be so complicated. Middle class people, working families are going to be hurt. Any information that's being leaked out of this administration needs to have a lid put on it. I want an investigation. Was in collusion with the Kremlin. Legitimately raised the question of impeachment. A day without a woman. I do plan on not spending any money, not patronizing any grocery stores, restaurants. The Scott Connor Show on News Talk 550 KTSA and FM 1071. You know, am I, you know, you know, it's, it's, it, it's the sensationalism of, of everything in, in the news. They take any little thing and they try to steal uh, this, this thing with Trump. You guys have heard this thing with Trump. It just came up. Uh, I drove in today and it was all over the news. Like there's an intruder in the White House or it, it across the fence that went into the White House grounds. An intruder. You're like, oh no. And it's like, well, he didn't do anything. He didn't hurt anybody. But he had a backpack. He had a backpack. And it's like, the, a friend of mine calls it the backpack of fear. And it's like, why Why are you, so, nothing happened. Are you so bored with, with everything that's going on in this country? Everything that's important on even a local basis. And the national news has to be about some Yahoo who climbs the fence, enters the White House grounds, and he's got a backpack. A backpack. And it's it's all about the back. What could have been in the back? Nothing's in the backpack. Nothing is in the backpack. Why mention the backpack? Why are you wasting my time? Why? It, 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 it's it remind. Then then did you hear this? It, it it just it just piles on top of each other. There was a tattoo artist. Okay, I'm gonna calm it down. I'm gonna bring it down a little bit because we got a lot of ground to cover this evening <laughs> on KTSa. Uh, there there's there was a tattoo artist. Okay, and he came out to his car and somebody left a note on his car. All right. And he walks up to you. Oh, there's a note on my car. What, what is the note? We would all say, Oh, what's the note? First, you know, uh, being in Los Angeles normally, I'm like, Oh, another ticket. But this guy's like, Oh, what's the note? He goes up to it and it's a guy. Somebody wrote a note to him and called him a cockadoodle doo sucker. All right. I got, I got, I got to say it that way. We're not on the internet. We're on radio. The cockadoodle doo sucker. Now all of a sudden the press grabs a hold of this and they're saying, I, this is a racial, a racial, I'm sorry, this is a homophobic slur. And I'm like, I use that word all the time. And I, nothing homosexual comes into my mind. What, why is it everything has to be sensationalized? I, I, it's, 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 it almost is. I don't want to use, I don't want, I don't want to do the Trump thing tonight. In fact, we're not going to call him Trump tonight. We're going to call him the Mad King. The Mad King. Because that's what he is, he's a Mad King. And now, and now uh, it, it, we'll get into that a little bit later. If, if it was better for Hillary, or or actually, whose real fault it is that the Mad King is in power? But let's bring it down and go. Why is it that they feel they have to sensationalize every little thing that isn't something when there are so many other big problems and concerns and things that affect us on a personal basis, and it. It gets, they don't want to cover that. Because if it bleeds, it leads. We've all heard that. It bleeds, it leads. When are we going to hold, and how do we, how do we hold, how do we hold the press accountable? Because keep in mind, right now, I'm coming to you, all right, I'm 550 K, uh, KTSA, and I'm coming to you on public airwaves. TV is on public airwaves, and they have a responsibility to, 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 uh, bring you News that matters to you without blowing it out of proportion. The backpack of fear. What was in the backpack? I have no clue. Do I care? How does that affect the price of milk down the street? How does that affect taxes for the schools? I have no clue. It doesn't. It, 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 why don't we talk about things that matter to all of us? Why don't we talk about things that are going to affect us tomorrow? That are going to affect us next week? They're going to affect us 10 years down the line. Technology. I said technology. I got a question, and here's a question. We're gonna we're gonna start this off slow, and then we're gonna we're gonna ramp it up to some really weird stuff as the as the hours go on. But here's the question I think I've got here. Parents, listen to me now, parents out there. I got a, I got an issue with you. I've got an issue with parents because you're 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 giving your kids the the tablet, the Xbox, right? 
the Sega, and whatever else. New, you know, is Nintendo still up there? Is Nintendo out there? Somebody give me. A, yeah, okay, Nintendo. Okay, they're giving them all these things. You're shoving them into her face. And what you're not understanding is uh, because maybe you're too lazy. I know you're tired. You go to work. You work the 45-hour, 60-hour weeks. You come home. You're tired. But you became a parent. That's your responsibility to sit down with your kid, play ball with your kid in the backyard, teach the kid how teach oh i'm here in favor teach the kid how to to uh, uh uh i don't know throw a frisbee whittle some wood but no you're shoving these devices in front of them and what you're i don't know if you understand that this is an addiction i i did a huge study on this i sound like trump i'm the authority on this but the fact of the matter is at a young age their minds are still developing and they're becoming addicted to that little screen to that thing, and the, the parents, when you when you take that screen away, you're like, you can't have the, you can't have your your phone right now. They throw a hissy fit. They can't function without it. And why? Is it their fault? Is it your fault? Or maybe it's a more sinister thing, and it's a bigger plot, and maybe it's a it's a shadow government thing where they want to control us by getting the children addicted to technology. You thought about that? So the call in numbers are two one zero, right? Five nine nine five five five. Again, two one zero five nine nine five five five. If you are you are you a bad parent? Are you are you a, a, a lazy parent? Because you 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 get these these addictive like like it's like handing your kid uh, heroin. And one report said that's how addicted they are to this. That's why they throw a hissy fit. It, it, it's uh, anyways. So they they they. They uh, 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 crave it, and they sleep next to it. I, I dated someone who was a bit younger than me, and she couldn't be without her cell phone. Could not be without her cell phone. In fact, there was a time that her cell phone went dark, and I kid you not, she could not find her way home. Get that? She could not find a city that she's lived in for 10 years. She's so addicted to that little screen that she could not find her way home. Somebody explain that to me. I still have I still have a map in my car. Do you, uh, do you have a map? Yes, I still have a physical map in my car. Because why? Because someday all of this might go dark. And how easy it for is it for it to go dark? Let me tell you. Okay. A couple years ago, I decided I wanted to learn how to fly. Okay, and so I'm up in the airplane, and and the guy who was teaching me how to fly, my instructor, is a former Air Force pilot. So we're up flying around in the blue skies in New Mexico, and he turns to me, he goes, "Well, you know, all this could go dark." I said, well, "I mean, the plane? What? 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 Wait, what? No, no, no." He goes, "Everything could go dark." I said, well, "What do you mean?" He goes, "Well, you know what an EMP is." I said, you know, "Electronic ma- magnetic pulse." He goes, "Yeah." If somebody had gone up, if they can, if they go up about a mile, somewhere over middle America, around Kansas, Oklahoma, and they set off an EMP, everything goes dark, fries everything. That means no more cell phones, no more uh, credit cards, no more cash machines. And this is spooky because the generation that's coming up now, now think about this, they're so reliant on uh, electronic devices that they can't even make change at the grocery store. Can't make it. And this is this this actually happened to me not more than twelve hours ago. Twelve hours ago, I was I thought, well, I need to get uh, I need to get uh, an oil change on the car, right? So I'm at the oil change place, and they're like, "Oh, your filter looks like mud." I'm like, "Oh, wow, it is mud. I, this, the car won't be able to breathe. No wonder it's running clunky." He goes, well, we can replace it for you. It'll be about 30 bucks. I said, for a filter? He goes, yeah, but there's an auto zone one block away. If you want to run down there and get a new filter, you can. I said, okay, that's fine. Let's do that. So I ran down real quick. I had the filter in my hand. I walked up, and the kid said, what car? I told him the, the, the make and the model. He goes, well, is it an XL? Is it a CX? Is it is it a XYZQ? And I said, I, I have no clue. I don't know. I just got this car. I have no clue. He goes, well, I need it. I said, well, there's, there's three different types. I said, well, why don't we do this? Why don't you pull all three filters and whichever one looks exactly like the one that's in my left hand, I'll buy that one. And I kid you not, 
this kid, I, I don't know, 20, 21, looks me dead in the, in the eyes, and he has dead eyes. So he looks at me in my eyes, and he has dead eyes. He could not comprehend thinking outside of the box because I couldn't give him the information to plug into the computer. Completely lost. Completely lost. So I'm like, but you know, I, sir, sir, I, I, I need to, I need, I, I can't do that. I said, why can't you do it? Well, I need a number so I can figure out. But, but you got all the part numbers here. Just go pull three filters and then come back and whatever matches, we can, we can, we can, I'll buy that one. Because you're going to go pull, they're all sitting next to each other in the filter section. Just go pull them. Uh, 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 okay. I, well, I don't know if I could do that. What do you mean? I, 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 talk shows. I'm speechless. What do you mean you, you don't know if you could do that? I, I don't, really? Uh, 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 I, I got to call my man. You got to call your manager. Yeah. Okay. I, dude, just walk over, pull three filters. He did finally. And I got my filters. So anyways, when we come back from the other side of the break, uh, you know, I, I got a question about. We're gonna stay on technology. We're gonna we're gonna filter into the cloud because I I got a problem with the cloud as well. So we've gone from backpack to addiction, to bad parents, and addictions on mobile devices to our children not being able to make change or things outside the box to now, really, the cloud, really. So all right, if you want to join me on the conver- on this conversation, it's uh two ten five nine nine. 5555 again, 210-599-5555, uh, KTSA. And we're out for a quick break. Yeah. Sound good? Let's do that. Let's rock and roll. Scott Connor into the night on News Talk 550 KTSA and FM 1071. All right. All right. I don't use the cloud. I don't use the cloud. Why, why don't I use the cloud? I, I'm serious. I don't use the cloud because I'm not I'm not stupid. It, it literally it's asinine to use the cloud. It's beyond stupid. It, it it the cloud what the cloud. Like people go, well, I don't know the cloud. Listen, <laughs> you're taking your files, your files, all right? You're taking your contact information, right? You're taking, uh, in some, some, some instances on the fancy phones, you're taking your notes, right? Your personal notes, all right? You're taking your passwords, right? And then... Of course, you're taking those drunken selfie, you know, n- nudies, those self nudies, right? The selfies, the selfies. You don't call them self nudies, do you? I, that what really? I, I, I must have came in here on a walker. How old am I? Those those self nudies. No, the you, you, but everybody's got the nudies. Yeah, you know you do. You know you do. Even even if you're not taking a nude of someone uh, uh, like a, a partner, you know you know like oh, what's that weird growth? <laughs> Really? Come on, we all do it. Because now you're like, I don't need someone to look at it for me. I could just take a picture of it, right? <laughs> Come on, we all do it. Like, what's that? I can't see it in the mirror. So let me just let me just use the let me just use. I, okay, I got to be honest. Okay, we're gonna be honest. That's the only way to do this. Okay, so uh, <laughs> we'll get to the cloud. So uh, there's this uh, program that you can because I, I got a new cell phone. Uh, and, and, and no, I don't play games on it. I just use it for texting. I use it for calling and I use it to, you know, surf, uh, not surf, scratch that. I used to check things out, you know, Google, but, um, <laughs> so, uh, but there's this app app that you can, right. It's an app, right? It's not an application. It's an app, right? I'm hip. So it's an app, but you, it, you can, you can put it on your, your computer and it wi fis it to your computer. So you're not, you're not connected. You're not corded. In. Is it corded in? Is that right? Corded in? All right. I'm making stuff up. So, but, uh, but then there was a function on this that, uh, you use the camera on the phone and it shows it on the computer screen. <laughs> so, so you can like, you can like, you know, look at things. <laughs> you're like, you're like your own doctor. You know, you go to the doctor and you stick that thing in your ear and it's got it up on the, on the, on the screen. It's like, oh, that's what your inner ear looks like. Right. Or other things. Oh, wow. That's not good. Right. 
<laughs> so uh, now you can do it with your cell phone because it's wireless. But, but, unbeknownst to me, it captures that video. <laughs> All right, so that's something you don't want to see again. You're like at the mo at the time that you're doing it, you're like, oh, that's interesting. Okay, well, I gotta check that out. Okay, well, hmm, um, okay, put some sab on it. Maybe it'll go away, right? <laughs> or or you always do the thing where you're like, oh, if it's on the right side and it's on the left, it must be there because it matches. But but it records the video. Okay, so that that if you're if you're not smart, wipe it off your your both your machine and your your phone. Then whatever's on your phone and uh, typically on like I, iPhones, iDevices, it automatically uploads your stuff to the cloud to back it up instead of you just maybe backing up on your computer. That's not that hard. It goes to the cloud. And then where is it? Who has it? Well, it's secure. Who says it's secure? Let me tell you something. Uh, I've worked in show business a very long time in film, television, radio, and I have a lot of friends. And I have several friends that, uh, what was it, two years ago, came up on the nudies that came out. Like somebody's hacked the cloud, and all of a sudden their pics came out, right? And now they're kind of embarrassing. Like some are like, oh, I look great. And then some are a little bit, uh, I don't know, if you saw Jennifer Lawrence's, you're like, oh, that's a little embarrassing. Now you're gonna go look. You're gonna go. Where's our, where's our pictures? But the fact, what I'm trying to get at is this: Why would you? And I'm really asking this question, right? Two ten five nine nine fifty five fifty five. Two ten five nine nine fifty five fifty five. Why would you back your information up on someone else's server? And not just one, by the way. No, 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 no. This stuff goes out to numerous servers. So it's backed up on top of backup so that they're responsible enough to get your stuff back. But it's out on their servers. And some geeky guy named Ted, who is bored, can just rifle through your stuff. Right? Yeah, they can get to your phone, I guess. But it's a lot easier when you just go, hey, take my stuff. Because you have no control for it. You have no control. It's gone. Zip, zap, zoop, gone. And then anybody, and then here's the, here's the, here's the spooky part. Okay. And if you, if you haven't told, if you haven't, can tell by now, I, I'm a bit of a, what am I? Conservative libertarian? I don't know. I'm, I'm very cautious of, of, uh, Big Brother. I'm just cautious. You know, absolute power corrupts absolute, absolutely. So, uh, think about it this way too. Everything you put up there is now out of your control, okay, and much more, much more, is that the right way to say it? Much more, he's saying yes, much more accessible to Big Brother or they, or let's, or something happens and they can twist something that you did into, uh, into it's your fault. Case in point, case in point. In the same category as being stupid for uploading your stuff to the cloud. Stupid. Yes, I'm calling you stupid. Asinine move. Okay. But it's just as dumb as putting one of those little gadgets in your car, right? That the insurance company goes, well, you know what? We'll save you some money if you put this gadget in your car and then you're, sa- you're, you're driving. Your driving does, you know, the way you drive, then if you drive good, we'll lower your rates. And you're like, oh, that's not a problem. But do you understand that now it's a tracking device on your vehicle that you have given your insurance company uh, 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 permission to look at how fast you're going? Right? Did you run a light slightly? Okay, they're not there on the ground. They don't know that all the traffic's moving at, I don't know. 80 miles an hour in a 65 mile an hour zone and you have to keep up. They don't know that. All they know is that you were doing, you were speeding and that racks up. And so that's on file, right? It's on file. And then let's say two years from now, you get into a fender bender. Regardless of whose fault it is, you're in a fender bender. And guess what? Well, must have been your fault because we've got here John Q. Citizen. That you've been speeding. On average, it doesn't matter if you have to sped in like two or three weeks, but on average, we're going to break that up and we're going to find a way to screw you. 
We're going to find a way to jack your rates up. And God forbid, fingers crossed, toes crossed, God forbid, somebody actually gets injured. Okay? Someone actually gets injured in an accident. And they can subpoena that information from your insurance company. And now your teat (laughs) is in a ringer. Right? It's in a ringer. Why? Because you're the same dumbass who put your stuff on the cloud and went ahead and said, well, it's technology. We got to do it. No, you don't. Pay the extra 10 bucks a month and, 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 and keep some dignity. Keep your privacy. And yes, I said privacy. It's not privacy. It's privacy. You know, so, but that, 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 you don't think this way, but you have to think this way in, in, in this because it's the, it's the boiling frog. We live in an age where it's the boiling frog. And for those 10 of you that don't know what that means, if you throw a frog in hot water, he jumps out. But if you put a frog in tepid water and bring up the temperature slowly, he will not jump out, he or she or it. Oh, that's another thing, too. Uh <laughs> The gender neutral, gender neutral. I, 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 I just been exposed to that. That's, that's, we'll talk about that later. But, uh, but it, it will stay in the pot and just boil because it was done slowly. So let's wrap this, let's, let's wrap this in a package. Okay. You give your kids a device that is like heroin. Now check my facts on this. It's like heroin. Okay, they're addicted to it. They're addicted to, right? Oh, I gotta know information, information. And another thing is, we're not built that way. We're not, we're not cyborgs. We're not built that way. We're conditioned to do that now, but we're losing out on the simplicity of being human, on making change at the grocery store, on being able to get some filters and figure out, hey, which filter fits this one? Oh, it's this one. That makes sense. I got to make the same amount of steps and moves over there. Might as well grab three instead of one. It makes sense. But they can't do that. Now they get older. Now they can't function without that drug of digital media. And now, again, like a pusher or a pimp, the powers that be can utilize that addiction to control the masses. See, I had a point the whole time. Right? You guys didn't think I had a point, but I did. Brought it all together. So keep that in mind. The addiction and the parents. Read a book to your kid for crying out loud. Seriously. Turn, I, I, we gotta go to a break real quick, but just this afternoon I was at a coffee shop and there was a couple sitting there and, uh, they got into a little bit of tiff and instead of talking to one another, they got their phones out and they were individually surfing their phones. And I actually said, why? And we got in this long, hour-long conversation. Afterwards, they put their phones away, kissed each other, and ran off. And now I'm sure they're making love into the you know, Saturday night uh, heat here. <laughs> All right. When we get back on the other side of the hour, uh, you know what? You protesters out there, I know I'm covering ground, but you're not hearing it through what I have to say. You protesters out there are literally lazy, lazy, lazy. And when we come back from the break, I'm going to tell you exactly how lazy you guys are. All right. I'm Scott Connor on KTSA. We'll be back in what? Two and two? Five and five? What is it? Chuck Worley? Yeah. Something like that. Okay. All right. 5.50 a.m. Scott Connor into the night on News Talk 550 KTSA and FM 1071. To to you again Because the visions are e- creeping Lifted scenes while I was sleeping And the vision that was blasted in my brain In the sound of silence, yeah. You know, 
protesting protesting has lost its teeth protesting has become a mangina of a sport <laughs> it really is it has no it has no teeth it has a lot of bluster but it really doesn't deliver yeah it's a mangina it it really is you know i know it's 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 uh I really had to talk about this real quick because it's 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 really annoying me. And let's 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 walk you through it. Okay. You had the well, it wasn't a million. What, Chris, it wasn't a million woman march. Was it, it was half a million? Right? Is right. that right? Right? Yeah, oh. half a yeah half a million. All right. So a half a million women, and and then you know their their support staff husbands. Uh, <laughs> right. You know, they show up in Washington to protest the uh, the legal election of uh, the Mad King. And uh, <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm starting a trend. I'm telling you, if we see this on CNN in like, like the next down, a week or so, you know it came right here on, on KTSA, the Mad King. But uh, they're, they're protesting. They all come from all over the country and not just there. But another half a million women and their support staff, uh, all around the country that couldn't make it to Washington did their own protesting. And then they, uh, then there was an industry born because of the, uh, the, uh, mangina hats, right? The, the pink hats. They got, they got a problem with grabbing things, but they're going to wear a hat representing that thing that they have a problem grabbing. Uh, okay. <laughs> now, right quick, right quick. <laughs> Boy, I'm a Texan. Right quick, right. Reckon this out in your head. If you have switched that around, it was it was opposite. And we, what kind of hats would dudes wear? Uh oh. <laughs> would it be floppy? Would it be floppy hats? I don't know. Okay. Uh, anyway, back to the back to the point. So you have you have a million women around the world and their support staff. And they gather to protest, and 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 they're saying, "Well, it was a success because of solidarity." Uh, okay, okay. Did and of course everybody's covered this. Nothing changed. Was it successful? And that 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 real estate has been mowed to the to the dirt. There's no more grass left on that topic. But I want to I want to flip that grass over. I want to churn it a little bit, and let's see if we can get some some growth out of it. Okay, because protests were going on are, are going on this weekend, and there are other protests like Syrian refugees and such. But here's my question, because I'm pragmatic. Scott Connor is pragmatic. Here's my question: uh, How much did it cost to get an airline ticket? Seriously, how much? How much did? How, how much money was spent traveling to their destinations? Right. Let's let's reckon this up. Okay. There's a number in your head. Now 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 hotel. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, what, what 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 are we talking about here? Two days, three days. So that's time away. So that's time that they're not working. That's fine. They're not working. That's fine. That's your time off. I dig it. It's groovy. I'm just go with it. But the question is this: What better could these protesters a month and a half ago? And tomorrow and a week from now, instead of marching and causing havoc like they did in Los Angeles, those yahoos, those yahoos, for a week, were shutting down the freeway. And anybody who's been to Los Angeles or any major metropolitan area know that they survive on the freeways. But these yahoos decide, oh, we're going to take two, three hundred of us and shut down the 101 and no traffic on the 101 on a Friday night. What? Okay, I get your protest. But that, how does that ingratiate your point to the people that you want to get your message across to? By keeping some guy in a car who's had a really uh, sh- uh, shizzle of a day, <laughs> right? Right? He's had a bad day. And then on top of it, he decided he'd go off his vegan diet and have some Taco Bell. And you know what? He's trying to get home because that Taco Bell is creeping up. And he just wants to go home, man. 
I just want to go home. I want to take my pants off. I got to get home. But I can't go. Why? Because 300 yahoos decided I didn't like the results of a legal, peaceful transition to power, and we're going to just keep you prisoner in your car for hours. All right, that's an inconvenience. How about this? Uh, How about emergency vehicles? Emergency vehicles need the freeways, they need things to be moving, so somebody's having a heart attack, somebody's house is on fire, some kid fell down and banged his head, and his head scratched open, the parents freaking out, you know, and they can't get to them because why? Because these protesters decided to shut down the 101. All right, that's a sidebar. Back to the big picture. What better could you have done with all of that energy all of that energy, all of that rage and, and solidarity, what could you have done with those, what, am I going to say tens of thousands, at least in the, in, the, in, the, in the case of D.C., tens of thousands of work man hours, millions of dollars. What could you have done that would have better accentuated your point? Maybe... I don't know, building houses for HUD? Uh, I don't know, maybe taking that same amount of money and giving it to uh, homeless vets? Maybe, I don't know, cutting a deal with grocery, st- grocery st- uh, 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 chains so that they uh, give up free food? Do you see what I'm getting at here? Look, I have no problems with protesting. That's 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 a uniquely and and uh, uniquely American I want to say right. Yeah, it is. It's a right. It's a privilege. Because those before us have paid for that privilege and that right in blood, sweat, and tears. Okay. And those people who are protesting the way they did in Washington, the way they did in L.A., the way they did in many places, is nothing less than annoying and a waste of time, a waste of resources that could be better spent in a more gracious way. You know, uh, I had a pastor who was talking about and I'm not preaching to you. Don't don't turn off the radio. Don't get freaked out. Okay, I'm not preaching. This 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 is a life lesson. Okay, but this is how I heard it, and this is how I apply it to my life. Now, every now and then, hey, I fall short. I get it. Okay, but I remember he told me, or he told the congregation, that there was a guy on an island who was starving. Now, a lot of you have been to church. You know the story. Bear with me. A guy on the island is starving. Right. And this sailboat comes by and they see this guy. Oh, there's a guy on the island. He, you know, you know, it's it's castaway. Right. But no Wilson. <laughs> so so the uh, they go aboard. They, they, they go short, go ashore on a rowboat. And there's a young sailor and an older seaman. <laughs> OK. And uh, the young sailor grabs an apple. Knowing this man is on his last leg, knowing this man needs to eat now. Or he will die. And he runs over to the man and he takes this apple and he shoves it in the man. You must eat. You must eat. He's pushing the apple. And the guy, even though he's starving, the guy would eat dirt. He's starving. He wants food. He wants it. He needs it. But he won't take it because the guy is shoving it down his throat. And the more seasoned seaman, right? Okay. Climbs off the off the off the, the skiff. Takes out his pocket knife and slices the apple up and offers it to the starving man. And then he eats it. Now, of course, in the Christian realm, that's, you know, sharing the word of God. Got it. But that can be utilized in any message of meaning. If you truly had a concern over uh, the election, if you truly had a concern over uh, Syrian refugees, you know, I've got a friend who uh, is in L.A., and she spent months working on a music video. Months working on a music video to to raise money 
on a Kickstarter program, one of those fun crowdfunding rings, a crowdfunding, uh, 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 you know, sites. Okay. And gets all of her friends to help her out, puts it up there because she wants to put money in the, the hands of an organization that feeds Syrian refugees children. So it's about the children, which is the heart is in the right place, but it's not well executed. Because that same amount of effort could have gone into feeding the children just down the street. And that dollar, that dollar, that effort, the, the, the energy that was expended in doing the music video and the, uh, social media platform. And oh, by the way, the, uh, the, uh, fundraising crowd, crowd, crowd funding site takes something like, uh, 7%. So seven cents out of every dollar goes to them. Okay. So. And and every cent counts when you're feeding people. So why not do something and spend all that energy and like and why are you worried about someone some uh, again your you know blessings on your heart blessings on your effort but why are you spending so much time on some children around the other side of the globe when there literally are in our area forty eight thousand homeless individuals. And something like 30,000 children are uh, meal deprived. So what I'm getting at here with the, uh, before we get into jumping the break, what I'm getting at here uh, is the same thing with the protesters. All that money, all that energy, all that we want to, this to be right, all that solidarity could have gone, should have gone, and sh- must go to, if you've got a problem, into feeding your neighbor, being your brother's keeper. Do the little things. All right. I got some more when we come back from the break. Uh, Scott Connor and KTSA. Uh, 210-599-5555. Again, 210-599-5555. I'm here. The lines are open. Hit me back. Into the Night with Scott Connor is on now on News Talk 550 KTSA and FM 1071. Gotta work it out. Da, 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 yeah. Just gotta work it out. That's all we're doing on the Scott Connor Show on KTSA. That's all we're doing. We're trying to work things out, have a conversation, right? Pragmatic. You can have your opinions. That's disco. I'm okay with it. I'm I'm disco with it, man. All right, but pragmatic. So let's so so speaking of pragmatic, okay. Let's talk about how the efforts of 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 individuals that that <clears throat> excuse me, the efforts of individuals are are doing something. Okay, we covered uh, the waste of energy. We covered the waste of time. Right, but let's talk about uh, people who are actually doing something. But now I have a question. About their well, let's just get into it. Okay, so there was a thing on, I believe, CNN. CNN, <clears throat> excuse me. So there was a thing on CNN that in Los Angeles and throughout the United States, uh, there are get this, wait for it, right, right, wait for it, do, 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 do. safe houses, a safe house, yeah. Okay, uh, what is it? Harriet Tubman going to come running past? I don't know. Are you, are you hiding, Anne Frank? Well, you think you would, right? Safe houses. Now, uh, so they go. The, the 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 reporter goes in there, and they're showing that they're actually spending money, and they're actually building uh, additions into homes, and they're actually building one one individual's building a, a like a four house complex to house. Uh, I don't know, homeless vets? Eh. Nope. To house, I don't know, um, poor kids? Eh. Nope. 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 Can you, can, you, can you guess? Chris, you got anything? Can you guess? What are no. they going to house? Come on, help me. 
Come on, Texas. Come on. Right there on the border. Anybody? Um, illegals? Hey! Yeah! I got a mug. I'm not kidding. Right now, I'm holding a mug in my hand, right? It's it's a blue owl with a green handle, and, and uh, you, you get the mug. All right, you got it. Illegals. Okay. Now, I, okay, I, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. But I don't because, okay, wait, look, what you want to do on your property, and I'm a huge, I'm a huge uh, 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 homestead man, right? Here in the state of Texas, homestead, your home is your castle, and I'm a huge homestead guy. So what you want to do on your property as long as you're not messing with your neighbor, right? And what you want to do on your property, you want to build a couple extra shacks in the back to, to house whomever, that's your business. That's fine. I, 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 there, there, I, have no, I have no right to say anything different. I have no uh, authority to say anything different. I can have my opinion, which I'm about ready to give you. But that's it. What troubles me about this is this. So they're building these, they're literally building houses. They're literally taking existing homes and building additions. Uh, they're taking spare bedrooms and racking them out because they're, they're preparing for the onslaught of the, the scraping of America, right? They're going to scrape all the illegals out of here. Uh, really probably, nah, nah, that's not going to happen. But, uh, they're, they're in this panic mode. And what I'm getting at is this. There was a Jewish owner, and he was talking about how this is the next Holocaust. I read that. And I was like, what? Wait a minute. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. Wait. <laughs> All right, back that up, okay? That's, that's, my, that's my grinding gear sound. Right? Who needs a soundboard? I got it. So <laughs> back that up, man. What? Wait, what? Let, let's 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 put these two side by side, okay? Let's just let's just let's just take these two by the side by side. Um, we're not talking about we're not talking about a uh, uh, a nationalized legal German citizen being persecuted and extinguished from the, fla- the face of the planet due to their their uh, their race or religion. We're not talking about that. What we're talking about is enforcing the existing laws, okay? We're talking. That's well. That's the that's the conversation going on out of the from the Mad King, <laughs> right? That's what he's talking about. Is he right? Is he wrong? Eh, yeah, yeah. No, no. Yes, I get it. But to me, it's like when the Mad King came in. It's like you know, you had two parents, and one parent was like really soft on you, like yeah, I know you shouldn't go to your bedroom, but you can watch TV. And then finally, Dad came home and said, No, uh, uh-uh. uh, go 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 get a switch. We're going to the shed. We're going to have a come to Jesus meeting. All right. You know that this is wrong. You know that this is the rule in my house. And you've been getting away from, you've been getting away with it because your mom's a little on the soft side. And I'm just enforcing the rule. Okay. There are ways of doing that. Uh, there are human beings that are involved in that on both sides. But the fact of the matter is the word illegal. All right. Illegal. Look, I have plenty of friends in downtown Los Angeles that uh, I actually went up to them and asked them. I said, are, are, are you illegal? See? Okay. All right. You know, all right. If, if the time comes when they are trying to come, get, all right, we'll work it out then. We'll figure it out. All right. I get that. Uh, but. Going back to utilizing resources. And again, what you want to do with your money is your business. But don't tout it like you're saving Jews from, from, from brown shirts and Nazis marching down, you know, the Gustav. And seriously, don't, that's, that, that, don't, don't glorify. That, that goes back to sensate. What's in the backpack? That, that's exactly what that is. What's in the backpack? Right? Cock a doodle doo is written on a written on a, 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 a note on your car, and all of a sudden they're they're the Tate speech. Well, you know, maybe you are a cock a doodle doo sucker. I don't know. <laughs> I know I've been one before, or called one. Wait, hang on, that didn't come out right. <laughs> the point of the matter is this: I go back to the simple, basic thing in the Judeo Christian Bible, and that's I truly believe if we did everything out of love instead of fear, we're going to get a lot further. But we have to pick the plank out of our eye 
before picking the splinter out of someone else's. Are you following me on this? Before we go and dump a bunch of money into Syrian refugees on the other side of the planet, why don't we feed the hungry that is literally 20 feet away? Are you following me on this? You're going to build houses, and I get it, they're human beings, but there are men and women, and I get a little emotional with this, there are men and women who have been asked to do horrible things, right or wrong, so that you and I could get a cheeseburger. So that your spoiled little kid can sit down and play a Sega all day long. So that your teenager can just sit around and feel entitled instead of, you know what, going out and picking cotton or going out and uh, uh, mowing the yard or picking the, the cabbage or the strawberries. Yeah, that's the answer, too. They say, what happens when the illegals are gone? Who is going to do the menial labors that, uh, oh, gee, us privileged Americans don't want to do? My answer has been, and it always will be, and it has been since 99, that it's our teenagers. It's our youth. That's their job. When you're a teenager, you go to work. You go out and get a job for the summer. You do 50 hours a week. You go and work so you can go buy that 8-track player. (laughs) Right? It's not about that. It's teaching them character. It's giving them sand and grit. And that's how I brought this whole hour around. We started off with that backpack. We ended on it. And it did make sense, didn't it? What I'm saying is this. Pick this. Take the plank out of our eye. Fix our problems right next door. Before we go and try to help somebody around the world. Because we still have a problem here. We got a hole in the boat. And... You know, you're trying to fix something else. I mean, you're trying to fix the sail. Well, let's fix the hole in the boat first. <sighs> okay. All right. Listen, I'm going to do a little preview real quick. Uh, before we go tonight, I'm going to talk about, I'm going to give you a, right? I'm going to tell you that what you think you know about the planet, you don't know. At least I don't think you know. Flat Earth theory coming up in the third hour. In the next hour, well, you stay tuned and come back. I'm Scott Connor and KTSA, 550 AM, 107.1, and uh, 210-599-5555. Again, 210-599-5555.